Let's get right into it. To manage profit centers in SAP S4HANA using Fiori, we navigate to the application called Manage Profit Centers. Click on this application and here you can see the start screen of the application called Manage Profit Centers. So over here you can see a search area where we can filter for existing profit centers. As you can see, we can filter for the editing status so I can select all or only those who are in draft and not saved yet, locked by another user, unsaved changes by another user or unchanged profit centers. Also, as you can see, the controlling area is mandatory. So I will just select one of my controlling areas over here and that's it. I can also filter specifically for the profit center and also for availability because as we will see later on, profit centers can be managed for different validity periods. I could also select departments, segments or profit center groups. And as always, I could adapt my filters as well. If I click on go, you can now see all the existing profit centers in my system. Quite important, I could navigate into one of those profit centers by just clicking on the respective line over here. This will open kind of a split structure. So you can see on the left hand side, the profit centers are still being displayed. And here on the right hand side, we can see the details for the respective profit center we called up. Let's now go back and over here you can see some more indicators. So I could select one of the profit centers and then I could click on copy. This would copy the values from my existing profit center to a new one. Then I could change the values and save the profit center. I can also click on lock. If we hit this indicator, you can see now the status over here for this profit center changed to locked and I can't post any values to this profit center anymore unless it is unlocked via this button over here. Now you can see the log indicator is set to no. Then we can see the change log. So we can inspect the changes made to this profit center. If I select this one, you can see here different changes that have been made. So those here were made by me and there was another one in the past. Let's go back. Furthermore, you can see here hide draft values. So actually this means that we could hide all the draft values for a profit center that are not saved yet. We could even delete the profit center or we can create a new one. This we will do right now. We will create a new run from scratch. By the way, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Let's click on create. And over here, we will start by selecting a controlling area because each and every profit center is assigned exactly to one controlling area. Then we must give the profit center a name. Let's just say special inventory, then an ID. So as you can see here, US 10 C13, we'll just call it US 10 C13. Four. You can see this is empty, so all good. Then you can see a long text. This is a free text field. And then we have over here a validity period. So as you can see right now, my profit center is valid for all eternity. However, we could also say up until 2025, for instance. Then we have here the person responsible. So this is a free text field. However, it is mandatory because this person could exist as an SAP user, but does not necessarily need to do so. So it could be any person working in your company. Let's just say test. User responsible would be the system user. However, it's not mandatory. Let's click on indicators. Here we could set the profit center as locked if necessary. For now, we will leave it as is. Then we have the organizational unit. So we need to assign each and every profit center to a profit center group. Let's just select one for our controlling area. Let's just take this one over here. Then we could store a department and we could also store a segment if the segment reporting is enabled in your system. In the address information tab, we could fill some address information for this profit center. However, this is not mandatory. The same counts also for the communication information over here. In the translation tab, we could store the profit center name and long text in different languages. So therefore I could click here on create. I could select another language, let's say Portuguese, insert a profit center name, and that's basically it. In the where use tab, we can later see where the profit center is used, in which other objects, or also in which other transactions. And then you can see over here that the profit center is assigned to all of the company codes within the controlling area. We could deselect here specific company codes so that the profit center will not be available for those company codes. And last but not least over here, you could see the change log if any changes have been made to this profit center. Now we can click on save and this will actually both save and also activate the profit center. So back in the days we had 
to save and then separately activate the profit center. But now we can do it in one step. As you can see over here, I could edit the profit center. I could delete the profit center or I could click on split validity period. Let's actually do this one. Then let me split this to the end of this year. We can click on create. And now I can adjust information. So let's just say we change the person responsible. Let's say test two, and then we click on save. Now you can see we changed the information as is. If we now go back over here and we now search for our new profit center without a validity range and click on go, you can see that we have two different information being displayed. So one is the information for our profit center from today up until the end of the year. And the other one is then from the beginning of the new year till the end of the new year. If we inspect this one, we can see over here the person responsible is test two. And if we inspect the other one, we can see that the person responsible is test. Okay, this marks the end of the video. I hope you liked it. If so, then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and activate the bell. See you next time.